I'm going to show you how we can make a boom in the room and all I need are two household chemicals. Baking soda and vinegar. Vinegar used in salads, baking soda to keep your, your refrigerator smelling good. And watch this. All I need is a paper towel and some tape and I'm going to make something really amazing. Baking soda. Now your measurements are key here, okay? You do not want a giant heaping teaspoon. I want one leveled teaspoon and I'm going to put it right into the center of my towel. And that's one. And then I'm going to take a second teaspoon. And I'm going to take a third teaspoon. And I'm going to go one more and do teaspoon number four. Now, I'm going to take this towel and I'm going to create like a little a package, like a little present. I'm going to fold and keep all the baking soda concentrated in the center and I'm going to fold. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to fold and I'm going to fold and now what I've created, a piece of tape, was a way to control when I want the baking soda to be released. Now step two is I get rid of my Ziploc bag, okay? And I'm going to take vinegar. It could be red vinegar, it could be white vinegar, it could be distilled vinegar, doesn't matter. Vinegar. Half a cup of vinegar. And I'm now going to take the vinegar, which is now the shape of the cup to liquid. I'm going to pour it into this bag. And it's now the shape of the bag. Now I'm going to take my packet, but there's a problem. The minute or the second I release this packet into the vinegar, there's going to be a chemical reaction. The two chemicals will mix and something new is made. And I'm going to give you a little clue. You know what's being made? A gas. See, chemical reactions when something new is made, but the problem is, if I drop this into this, it's gonna make a gas, and if the bag is open, where does the gas go? It's gonna go up, but we're gonna make this a little fun. I did say a boom in the room, and now I'm gonna zip the bag shut, and if you notice, I'm holding this bag from the outside so that I didn't release the baking soda yet, because once these two chemicals touch, chemical reaction, and now I'm gonna double check the bag triple check the bag, and if it is going to go kaboom, I don't think you want to hold it here. I'm going to hold it over here, and I'm going to let it go, and I'm going to press it so that the vinegar gets absorbed by the towel, and let's observe what happens. It's in, and right now the baking soda and the vinegar are going to start to mix, and oh, oh, whoa, dude, hello, okay, this isn't funny, I'm scared. Uh, Sorry, the bag just farted. Did you see that? All that gas is being made, so much gas, so much gas, it had to find a way out, created so much pressure, boom, in the room. So, by doing that and mixing those two chemicals, we were able to make an amazing chemical reaction, make a super safe controlled mini explosion, and learn a lot about how gases are being made. Go try it, have fun.